this is HBlack Studios, and today I'm going to be doing actually a sort of haul video of a package that I got from eBay. So, um, yeah, I only have 22 minutes to film, so... Oh, by the way, the package was a, a lot of nine big figures, knockoff big figures, and I'm just going to be showing them off in no particular order. Um, so, I'm going to be starting with this guy. I have to point the camera a bit up. So, this is, um, Groot. I think this is better than the Lego version. So, um, yeah, this is his face. Uh, there's, like, the body. The arms are movable. Oh, and I am going to be saving two for the very end, because I think they're the best. Yeah, um... There's a look at the back of him. There we go. He has some printing on his legs, and he has really long toes. But, um, yeah, that's it for Groot. Give me a second. So, yeah, that was the first one. Like I said, I'm paying them up in no particular order. So, this next one is Gorilla Grodd. Um, this is probably, like, uh, the best feeling out of the bunch. Oh, uh, I probably am wrong to my own standards. So, um, yeah, like, the printing is all fine. There's, oh, there's a little bit of flashing up here. I'll fix that later. But, um, yeah. Um, I was thinking of maybe, like, sanding down the face and, like, smoothing it out with some, with some thick paint and make, like, a man-ape custom. Although, I don't know. But, um, yeah. That was it for a Gorilla Grodd. And like I said, I'm taking these, I'm picking these up in no particular order. This is the Green Goblin. Um, so, yeah. Oh, interesting fact. I believe this is the only official Lego big figure that has his right foot out instead of his left. And, um, yeah, so there's one of his arms. Fairly, pretty poorly painted, actually. Um, there's the side of his arm, uh, the back, there's a bit of paint chip, or smudge here. I'll just fix that up with some paint. Um, there's the face. Pretty nice. Feels really chalky at the back here, for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, that was pretty much it for the Green Goblin. Oh, let me get him out of frame. <coughs> Sorry about that. The next one is Thanos. He came with the jet boots. These are all knockoff Lego. I'll just get those out. Not expect him to come with those. Um, yeah, this guy is kind of poorly painted as well. But, um, never mind. I might try to paint, like, the Infinity Stones onto this hand. Um, his face is whatever. The paint is sort of, like, weird on the helmet. Um, there's the back. Um, you can see there is some gold behind there. And, um, yeah, there's the printing on the front. Um, yeah, that's it for Thanos. Then, uh, yeah, this guy, um, Darkseid. Um, the only other DC character in this. The face is, like, looking to the right, and it's like dark gray, whereas this is light gray. I might customize this one, and there's the printing on the front, it almost fell. Let me get him on the actual stand. So, yeah, there's his arm. Got to mention, uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Grodd's arms are pretty loose. Um, yeah, there's the back, um, his face is, like, indented in there, it's like this helmet thing, um, so, yeah, there is the dark side, um, and I'll just, uh, quickly show the juggernaut that came with this packet quickly to show you two things that they have in common. They rattle. But, um, yeah. I tried to get those out of there. So here is the rhino. One second. 
Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, here's Rhino. Um, his arms are like they're not too loose. There's his back and his legs. The toes are actually like three dimensional. Um, his face is like uh, it's like going down a little bit. The horns are actually a little bit pointy, to my surprise. Yeah. yeah. And then, like I said, here's the juggernaut that came in this. I did have, uh, I do have another juggernaut big figure. Unfortunately, I don't have him here right now. I'll probably replace this arm because this one, like, the paint is very weird. Although the face on the other juggernaut that I have, it's like looking sort of this way. This one's like pretty good. Um, there's no like paint smudge. Um, there's the back. I really like how these black bits sort of protrude out. It's a very nice little uh, detail. This is one of my favorite knockoff Lego big figures if you can get off the stand. There we go. And um, yeah, so now I'll get on to sort of the coup, the coup de gras, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, I am expecting one other package to come, like, midway through August that has another big figure knockoff one. This is my second favorite in the whole packet, package. This is the Mark something or other Igor suit. Might be the Mark 38. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah. This is, like... Here's his arm, which has the stripes. The hands, like, these are actually protruding out. These little bolts here, it's pretty intricate detailing there. Uh, the camera doesn't really pick it up very well. Um, some nice striping on the legs here. Some nice, like, silver parts here. Um, the arc reactor. The detailing, like, up underneath his neck, the head, the silver, the detailing's the same on this arm, and his head, give me a second, it actually was a separate piece, so let me just get a completely random head here, um, yeah, this one will do, you can actually, like, put a little Lego face here, so someone could be inside the suit. And, um, yeah, let me put that back in. There we go. Um, and then here's the back. It has some pretty nice detailing up here, the silver parts. Uh, this part is, like, indented in there. And these silver parts here, the little, like, uh, things here and there. The silver detailing on the back. Like that. This sort of looks like the little round explosive on the back of like clone troopers and stormtroopers. Then the silver on the back of the legs here. So yeah, this is one of the ones that I really wanted. And I really like how it looks. And um, now for my favorite one in this uh, lot, the Hulkbuster. And I've wanted this Hulkbuster for, like, forever, but I was never able to get it. And, um, yeah, so, like, the legs, some, like, pretty simple detailing there. The legs, fairly simple. The arc reactor, the face. The camera's painting it up as, like, a really sort of, like, pale-looking gold, but this is just, like, the, sil the standard, like, uh, painted Lego gold that you'd see. Um, but yeah. There's the gold on the arms here. The back, this, like, spiral thing on the tubing, which is very nice. Um, this, like, ring on the back here. Um, these little parts do sort of, like, move a little bit. The arms move, of course. These things are actually separate. And one thing that surprised me that I didn't know that this Hulkbuster had movable arms, or at least like an elbow joint for both of the arms. I really did not expect it to have those. And all like things I've seen, they always just have the arms like this. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's a really cool feature. Oh, um, give me a, a second here. Sorry about that, but I just kind of wanted to show the scale of a few of these big figures with a minifigure. So there's the Groot one, the tall. Here is the Igor suit, which is, again, pretty good. Then, I knocked over this guy. If you want to, come up with a name for him in the comments. But, um, yeah, then here is the Hulkbuster. Um, yeah. So it's pretty good size. Um, actually, one second. Here's a comparison of the official Hulk big figure versus the Hulkbuster. And, um, yeah. Ah! Sorry, I was also going to show the scale of my custom Clayface big figure. So... Let me end off this video. Actually, before I end it, I wanted to show I got a nice collection of these things. It's beautiful. So, yeah, that was my sort of review slash haul video of the lot of nine big figures that I um, just got. And, by the way, these came a week early, to my surprise. Uh, but, uh, yeah... Um, that was the video, and goodbye.